Today's demo is about an AI-powered receptionist built by Autogen that has the ability to vet clients and it has the ability to gather information from that potential client. Picture various types of specialists like a doctor, an attorney, a teacher. All these people have certain expertise and it would be really handy to have an AI to vet potential clients for you. The way I've set up this AI is that it reads in a resume. Once it gets that resume, it knows how to vet potential clients for that particular expert. This undoubtedly could save enormous amount of time and money. Now let me give you a demo of the receptionist working here, the AI powered receptionist. Okay, right here, the AI started up, here is the assistant, and it says, sure, I'd be happy to ask you some questions to determine if you're a good fit for our expert. What is your reason for seeking legal advice? Have you worked with an attorney before? Are you currently involved in any legal disputes? Do you have any specific legal needs? Are you located in Atlanta? Now remember, I didn't, you're gonna see in the code, I didn't tell it any of these questions. I just said, please vet a candidate. It came up with these. So let's go ahead and answer something. Let's say, uh, sure, I need help on immigration. Okay, then it says, hey, thank you for the response based on your, your reason for seeking legal advice uh, regarding immigration. Hey, you're a good fit for an expert because this expert knows immigration. And then it says, hey, please give me your full name. So let's do that. I could have given it all three things at first, uh, but I didn't on purpose. Then it says, hey, it got the name. Could, it, could you provide your phone number and address as well? So let's do phone number and let's do address. Okay, once it got all that data, I had told it in the prompt that you're gonna see it in a little bit. Once you get the data, please print a summary of the data. So here's the summary start, the summary end, name, phone number, address, and reason. We're gonna start over here and give it a different response. Let's say something like, um, my back hurts. And you see what it says? Hey, I apologize for the confusion, but it seems like you may have misunderstood the purpose of our chat. Our expert specializes in immigration and asylum law. So, hey, this isn't a good fit. Uh, if you've got back pain, you, you should be getting medical advice. What if we do this? I have no money. It does it again. Hey, I understand you have financial problems, but our expert focuses in providing legal advice. So this isn't a good, you're not a good candidate for this expert. Let's go ahead and get started in the code. So the first thing I'm gonna do is define a data file. That's that resume data. Let's pop over and look at that. So here's the resume. It happens to be this attorney. I just grabbed this, I think it's just a template resume, but here's education, skills, just like a normal resume, just as a text file, work experience. Here and here, you can see it Atlanta. And that's why I came up with that suggestion, hey, are you in Atlanta? Because it read the resume. Again, this agent is actually set up to read any resume. So this could be any resume. It could be multiple resumes. We're going to define our function here. We're going to call it start AI. We're going to do this autogen uh, chat completion dot start logging. We're going to be logging the entire conversation here because that is how the bot is going to actually log that summary. Once it gets the information, once it vets that it's okay and it gets that summary information, then it can log it here and then post process after that. This line here is just uh, read in the data. So a data file, just read it in. In this example, we just have one assistant. We have one proxy and one assistant. So here's the config data. And now we're gonna jump down here to the assistant. I'm not gonna be focusing on setting up Autogen. I've done that in a previous video, which I will link at the end of this video. Next, let's chat about this system message that's setting up the agent assistant. Here's what we tell it. Hey, you are a receptionist for an expert whose resume is as follows. That is the resume. That is the data coming from the data file that we just read in. And here are your responsibilities. You're responsible for vetting potential clients and weeding out those clients that would not be a good fit for this expert. You must ask questions to the potential client to determine if they are a good candidate. And then I say, hey, once you've determined the client is a good fit, your job is to receive their intake information. This obviously would be a lot more things if this was like, you know, in production, a lot, a lot of stuff, especially if you're a doctor or a lawyer or whatever. But here, just an example is, you know, reason for meeting with the, the expert, your name, your phone number, and address. And if you have any problems, please tell the user why you have those problems and how you can solve them. Now we're setting up the user proxy agent. Remember, that's the human. And we're gonna say the human response mode is always, because we're always gonna be answering questions. Here's where we actually kick off the, we initiate the chat. And here is the message. You're telling the assistant, hey, I'm a new client that needs to meet with an expert. Please ask me as many questions as you need to determine if I'm a good candidate. If I am not a good fit for this expert, please tell me and in the chat. If I am a good fit, please gather any needed information. And then I say, 
After the information is gathered, please provide a summary of the data in the following format. Summary start, name, phone, address, reason, summary end. This is all going to be logged in a log file. That's why it's in this format. Then you could post-process the log file for all the candidates that have been vetted and that are good. Speaking of logs, we're going to grab the logs here with autogen.chat completion logged history, put it into logs. Here we are opening up the log file. These logs actually were super ugly. These were two giant, like one key and one value for a giant dictionary that was all strings. Then we're going to stop the logging right here, autogen.chat completion stop logging. And here we're just going to start the AI, call our function. Let's go ahead and run it. Here is the opening prompt. Now I'm going to say I need help with immigration. Here's going to be my answer. Here's my name, my phone number, my address. And then I'm saying I need help with my cousin immigrating. And as you can see, the AI just really nicely parsed out all of the stuff, created a summary, name, phone number, address, reason, start and end. And then it says, hey, our expert will be able to assist you. Once we exit, then the log file was created. Let's pop over there and the log file is going to have everything. So that is the resume in the beginning. Here are the prompts. Here is that uh, system prompt. And here is all the conversation. And here is the summary. And remember that log file can be parsed out post-processed later. Let's do an example here where I say I need trademark law help. What I really love here is even though we're an attorney, the expert is an attorney, it actually does not have expertise in trademark and it knows this. So Trademark law is a specific area of expertise. Our expert has various areas of law, but trademark law is not listed as one of their specialties. So it's really neat to see how the AI ingested that uh, resume and it was able to determine this expert is not good with that. So even across all experts, all experts have really detailed specialties. What's really neat is the AI identified that and was able to tell the client, hey, this isn't a good fit. If you enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like. Leave me a comment, happy to get back with you. I wanted to remind everyone about the best idea contest that I'm sponsoring on my channel. Please pop over in this link that I'm gonna post here so you can jump onto that contest. A free $50 gift card is waiting for the winner. As I said before, I'm gonna link here at the end the Autogen video that goes through all the nitty gritty details of how you set up Autogen and what all those configuration parameters mean. Thanks again for watching, until next time.